I have done it finally, finally, finally. I have finished my uh, list here. Uh, this is my 1,000 point Adepticon list. And uh, basically, this is how it goes. Um, I have at least put three lists together because recently, I think it was Sunday, I found out that I was going to Adepticon with a couple of friends of mine. And we're going to enter in the four man team tournament. So uh, it's a 1,000 point tournament in Chicago. Yes, and I do live in the Illinois area. Uh, so, uh, here we are. Uh, we have an HQ. We have a Sorcerer. This guy is jacked out. And I'll tell you what I did to him. That makes him 220 points. Um, it's a little plain with the rules. It, it doesn't break any rules. But it's not, like, set in the rules. It's, uh, it's a fault in their GW line. Or their rules. So I'll tell you how it goes. Um, basically, I have the, I have Mark and Nurgle, pretty self-explanatory, plus one toughness, jump pack, that makes him move 12 inches, jump infantry, and I have a, uh, forget what that symbol is, uh, Nurgle's Rot, which is a psychic ability, and I have Wind of Chaos, another psychic ability, I have Demonic Seed, which gives me plus one attack, and and attack and wound and I have personal icon and basically how I played with this I'll, sh I'll tell you guys it right now because I took the personal icon but instead of making the personal icon Nurgle I made it Zinch and what Zinch pretty much does I have two marks pretty much personal icon gives you a mark and I made that Zinch and I also bought the mark of Mark and Nurgle so I played with the rules I didn't mess them up but uh I'm, I did, I went around, like, I didn't bend him, but, uh, I did this one thing, I gave him a mark here, and I personal icon Zinch, so he has the Zinch marks, which gives him plus one initiative, and, uh, with Mark of Zinch, he's allowed to, uh, cast two, two, uh, um, I'll just call them spells, two spells, uh, per turn instead of one, so it's sweet. Okay, so these are his stats. If anybody thinks that uh, that little thing that I did was wrong, then please drop a line and I'll see what you guys have to say. Which, if you read through the codex and the rule book, it is legal. It doesn't say you're not allowed to have only one mark. It says, uh, and in the personal icon section, it says that a uh, personal icon gives you a mark. mark. So... He's going to have the mark of Zinch, and it'll give me two marks with awesomeness. Stats, weapon skill, ballistic skill, still the same, a five. Uh, strength, four, normal. Toughness, five, because Mark and Nurgle. Wound and attacks are four instead of three, because of uh, Demonic Seed. Leadership, ten, pretty good, for psychic attacks. And save is three plus, initiative is actually... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, initiative is uh, 5, and vulnerable is 4. Plus 1 and vulnerable because mark of Zinch. And I can cast 2 spells per turn because I mark Zinch. That's my sorcerer. And then troops, I have 2 squads of Plague Marines. Um, Flamer, Multi Melta, Power Fist, Icon of Nurgle. For uh, 186 total times 2. 2 exact same squads. Transport, Rhino, uh, Bolter. And Havoc, 50 points. Possessed, 130. Lesser Demons, um, 78 points. I have six of them. That's wrong. I still need to change that. And Obliterators, I have two Oblitz with uh, uh, 75 points each. So, this adds up to a perfect 1,000. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about a little bit of tactics about it. Annihilation Missions, just going to use those tactics that I usually do in games. And I will... Uh, Obviously, just play Annihilation the way I play it. I won't go into details. I use some Fritz, tactic, Fritz tactics in my Annihilation. But uh, objectives, I plan to have these two squads right here um, on an objective back towards the back of the field. And they're, one's going to be in a Rhino, and they're going to sit in the inside the Rhino. Or, no, they're not going to sit inside the Rhino. Two squads out on the objective with the Rhino blocking sight and firing off Havoc shots. Um, 
site for other guys shooting in. And that's pretty much going to be my objective for the entire game. Unless he does something crazy like send two squads at Terminators, but who knows. Uh, Possessed is going to be running with the Sorcerer. And they're going to be uh, jump packing across the field to uh, cause havoc and kill people off objectives just to uh, lose some ob objectives for them. And lesser demons are going to come in probably with the possessed area just to help with uh, killing stuff off objectives. And oblitz are going to come for that anti-tank, anti-termy. They're going to come in. You Probably they're going to be in two different squads. And uh, if it's not Annihilation, and they're going to come down and pop some Terminators, pop some Rhinos, maybe go for a lucky shot on a Land Raider, who knows, and uh, they'll probably come down on top of an objective to just contest. So overall, if I'm expecting to kill at least one squad off an objective, so he has minus one objective right there, and uh, a Blitz coming down on an objective, so he'll probably kill at least one of those. So... I uh, will contest another one, and he'll have, I don't I'm not sure what, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be controlling like three, four objectives when it's a thousand point game, so, uh, yeah, but I still have to develop some tactics, but I'm going to get it down, and I'll go to my game store and figure stuff out, but uh, that's it, and uh, that's my list, and we'll see you guys later.